gone back the guy of the pickpocket or the ladies, uh, just a physical attack on the on the passenger. So it's probably a story of terrible misunderstanding on both sides. Uh, the white guy believed that the girls are pickpocketers. Obviously, they were Roma. Uh, the Roma guy believed that the, that the white attacked them uh, in a rude manner, so he came uh, to help. He was used uh, to attacks from the white majority. So that was probably a natural reaction. Probably it's a story of misunderstanding on both sides. So what shall I do in this? I, I offend probably an innocent guy. Um, uh, I, when I accepted the police story, so the advice said, eat your frog. So I ate my frog. Uh, and I wrote an apology. Uh, three weeks ago, I, um, three weeks later, sorry, uh, after after the first column, I published another column saying that, oh, <clears throat> it's fair that the guy is convicted by physical attack. It shouldn't be done. Uh, but it's totally unfair by police and by media and by me. Uh, to call them the gang of pickpocketers because nothing like that was proven and I, I apologize, it was my mistake. Uh, lie, manipulation, I don't know, but this is the Czech story of the lie. Maybe it was a prelude to a series of media misinterpretation, misunderstanding about the conflict between Roma and by majority in the Czech Republic that uh, in the beginning of this year escalated in some poorer region, regions of the Czech Republic into a more <coughs> dramatic conflict. This constant prejudices and stereotypes on both sides. <coughs> That's all. It's also a story about your honesty. It's not a story only about lie. Uh, but I know that the Czech That's why I'm telling that. Yes, of right. course. <laughs> Um, okay, so we continue, uh, please, about not now the philosophical concept, but the Lithuania. Okay, yeah, thank you, we'll try to avoid the philosophical or theoretical part. So, uh, in fact, I would like to start from a very obvious fact. In 1989, uh, 